Christ. First of all, all what you see in the black color, it is authentic from the time of Jesus Christ. This is a part of the town of Capernaum that was discovered. Actually, we had two Jewish towns that they were very important located here on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. Magdala, from where Mary Magdalene came from, and Magdala in Syriac Aramaic means the tower. It was called Migdal Nunia, the tower of the fish. In Magdala, following the famous historian Josephus Flavius, they had a crew of 230 boats, imagine. 230 boats in the Sea of Galilee. And these were boats of fishermen. They caught the fish and they salted the fish and they exported it to the rest of uh, uh, the country and to the uh, uh, countries abroad. So Magdala was really a trade center. We know that historically and the last excavations in Magdala discovered two beautiful synagogues and it discovered also the port area where they salted the fish. They built a pool, freshwater pool, they kept the fish till they salted it and then they exported it. Now, when Herod Antipas, he built the city of Tiberias, Magdala started to decline because it was built as a Roman city. So Magdala was business center, Capernaum was a road junction. Okay, and it was a very important town because the main road, one of the three main roads at that time was Via Maris, the way of the sea. So the way of the sea started from Egypt. It went along the coastal plain, crossed the Jezreel Valley to here, and from here to Damascus. This is Via Maris, Via Maris. Now, when you have road, first of all, you have trade. What was the most profitable trade at that time, in the time of Jesus? Spices, gold, other minerals, but most profitable one were the slaves. So they took the slaves from Egypt <clears throat> to the land of Mesopotamia, the land between the rivers, Euphrates and Tigris, and they brought slaves from there to Egypt. And these slaves, when they passed through Capernaum, they heard about Jesus, they were comforted, and they have spread the good news all over the countries, okay? And when we talk about road also, we talk about <coughs> taxes and taxation. So the Romans, they placed here a station to collect the tax. When the people crossed Capernaum, they paid the tax in order to go to the other countries. The tax collectors were caught as sinners, and I will explain why. Who was the famous tax collector that we know next to Zacchaeus? Matthew. Saint Matthew. Matthew. You see him sitting there, but you came late, 2,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking. He's looking for him. <laughs> now, what is the idea behind the tax? <clears throat> In <coughs> biblical days, the time of Jesus till these days, if you don't pay the tax today, they put you in prison. In old days, when you didn't pay, the, the tax was a symbol. If you paid the tax, it means that you are loyal to your country, to the authorities. When a kingdom decided to conquer another kingdom, they told them shalom. If you pay the tax for us, you tend to be loyal to us, you are protected. If you don't pay the tax, it means that you are revolting against us. So we will teach you a lesson. We will come destroy your cities and take your men and women as captives, take you to the exile to teach you a lesson and to teach the whole area a lesson. This is the meaning of the tax. And here in this place, Jesus was not concerned in the daily life. So he sent St. Peter to the lake down below. St. Peter found a coin in the mouth of the fish and Jesus told him, give it to the Pharisees to pay the tax. In Jerusalem, he showed the greeting of Caesar and he said, render to Caesar what is to Caesar. 
in the meaning let it be let it flow this earthly life will vanish don't cast your net to catch fish don't invest in this earthly world invest in the heavenly world and treasures in the heavenly world your life here is a stage of preparation for the heavenly life so also the tax collectors they were caught as sinners sinners because they were cruel okay and we can learn that from Zacchaeus and others and Jesus here he sat with the tax collectors the Pharisees they blamed his disciples how come your rabbi is sitting and eating with the tax collectors the answer of Jesus was that not the ill people who need a doctor the healthy people who need a doctor so the Son of God welcomed everyone and why he welcomed everyone don't judge in order not to be judged okay now over here you see the octagonal Byzantine churches these churches were built over the authentic house of Saint Peter or his mother-in-law okay no it is not a joke it is not a joke it is a fact so Jesus lived in the house over here and the house looks like the houses that we have them here. Okay, so the churches were built on the top of it, top of it, difficult to see, but the house looked like this one. Actually, when you look at these houses, you see that it consisted of so many rooms. And why is that? Because in the past, the people, the family lived together and they were blessed with children. So, when a child married, he doesn't leave his parents. It is a shame. We have still these traditions still these days among the Arabs and I believe also in your society. When the child is 18 years old, according to our traditions, Arab traditions, it is shame to leave the home of your parents. You live with the home of your parents on your marriage. And 50, 60 years ago, when we married, also we stayed, we got a room in the same house. Because the main commandment says to respect your father and respect your mother. This explains why we have so many rooms in the same house. Today we build on the top of the house of the parents, explaining with our parents. You know, if your parents die and they don't bless you, it is a curse. A curse that you cannot afford. And if you were cursed, you mistreated your parents. And you cursed by your parents, your life is over. Your life is over. I remember, always, there is a mafia person. The one who controls him is his mother. He catches him from his ear and tells him, go. <laughs> he cannot open his mouth. Okay? So, the houses, and you see the white stone synagogue. It was built over the synagogue from the time of Jesus. Let us remember together what are the miracles that were performed here. First of all, Jesus was preaching, nothing that was good. The synagogue was beneath it and it was much smaller. So Jesus was preaching there and he saw a possessed man. And he casted out the demons from that possessed man. Now, Jesus was preaching in the synagogue, and he heard that the mother-in-law of St. Peter was sick, so he came rapidly to heal her. We talked about the miracle of finding the coin in the mouth of the fish. These houses, the roof of these houses, were made of dry reeds mixed with mud, or dry palm branches mixed with mud. We all remember the beautiful miracle when they brought the paralytic to Jesus. The house was full. They removed the roof and they got the paralytic in and he was healed. We know who built the synagogue for the Jews. His name was Jairus. The Jews told Jesus, go and assist that man, the Roman centurion. He did good to us. He built our synagogue. So Jesus raised his daughter from death. Roman centurion came and he asked from Jesus to heal his servant. 
And the Roman centurion said to Jesus what we pray in the Mass. Lord, I am not worthy you come under my roof. You shall say a word and my servant shall be healed. Originally, my servant shall be healed. He, he showed the humility and his servant was healed. So all these miracles were done in Capernaum, but not all the people here recognize the Son of Man as the Son of God. So the message that Jesus delivered is in Matthew chapter 11. I came, I healed people, I raised persons from death, but not all of you recognize me as the Son of God. So oi for you Capernaum, oi for you Chorazim, oi for you Bethsaida, your faith will be bitter than Sodom and than Gomorrah. And here the verses, Matthew chapter 11, verse 20. Then he began to rebuke the cities in which many of his miracles were accomplished, for they still had not repented. Woe to you, Chorazim, woe to you, Bethsaida, for if the miracles that were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in hair clothes and ashes. Yet truly I say to you, Tyre and Sidon shall be forgiven more than you on the day of judgment. And you, Capernaum, would you be exalted all the way to heaven? You shall descend all the way to hell. For if the miracles that were done in you had been done in Sodom, perhaps it would have remained, even to this day. Yet truly I say to you that the land of Sodom shall be forgiven more than you on the day of the judgment. At that time Jesus responded and said, I acknowledge you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the prudent and have revealed them to little ones. So this is really the real message that we get it here. The salvation now is through the Son of God. It is not through the laws of God. Okay? Follow the torture.